Hello, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hey, how are you today, people? Tell me, how was your day? Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, Carla. How was your day, people? Tell me. Was it stressful? Was it uh, interesting? Was it funny? Tell me. How was it? Uh, for example, Carla, how was your day? Tell me. Was it interesting? Was it funny? Was it hard? I'm sorry, I didn't listen. What do you say? Está lloviendo mucho. Ah, ah hmm. igual acá está lloviendo bastante. Ah, inclusive pensé que iba a tener interferencias. Ah, pero bueno, se ha estado calmando un poquito, así que esperemos que no haya ningún problema. So, but that's good. At least it's, it's raining. So, so, Eric, how are you today, man? Tell me, how was your day? Well, tired. Tired? It's, it's a hard day. It was a hard and, day? And, and meeting all day. I got a meeting the whole day? Really? Uh, uh, that must be stressful, right? All right. <laughs> mm, yeah, I and, can tell. And, and, and it's raining. It's, it's beginning to rain. Uh, mm -hmm. Eh, eh, se escucha fuerte, ¿cómo pudiera decir? <laughs> and, uh, it, and we can listen so hard. Or uh, it's listen so hard. strong. Oh, okay. Thank you. All right. Very good. Yeah. I think it's, I think in the most, in the most of the departments, it's raining because here in San Miguel it's raining and it's raining a lot. It's raining very hard. Yeah. Uh, rarely, rarely, but yeah, <laughs> in, not all, not not all the time, but yeah, rarely. But the thing is that rarely. when when it rains in here, it rains hard. Okay, it's mm -hmm. not that often, but when it rains, it rains hard. Yeah, yeah, because uh, here the storms are very electric. Electric. Um, yeah. like electric storm. Okay. Y después de, la, después de la tormenta no queda más, más caliente, teacher, ahí. Um, o realmente refresca. Refresca, pero a little bit, poquito. Oh, a little bit. Yeah. Um, Just a little okay. bit. Sí. Okay. Acá solo refresca cuando tal vez uh, llueve por unos tres días super seguido, seguido. Like, like this past weekend, como este fin de semana pasado, es un poco, uh, like, to say like that, mm, cool. Like okay. kind of cool, fresco. Yeah. Fresco, cool, fresh. Yeah, but the rest of the day, it's hot, super hot. <laughs> yeah. super okay, hot. This... We had to drink a lot of water in here. During the day. During the day. Okay. Yeah, during the day. All right. Okay. So uh, let's start. So it's 10, I mean, 8.05. Let's start with, uh, with the attendance list. And then we're going to start with the topic that we got for today. Uh, we're going to continue a practice, a conversation practice with the uses of how much. Okay. And then we're going to to see how we can solve those, that situation. Okay. Okay, give me a second. Just give me a second, please. All right. Uh, let's start with the attendance list. Amilcar Gustavo. Mm, he has not showed up. All right, Ana Claribel. Hmm. Not here yet. Ana Maria. Okay, not here yet. 
Carlos Eduardo. Present. Ok. Eric Guillermo. Present teacher. Ok, perfecto. Stephanie Janet. Present. Ok, very good. Let's see. Fátima Alejandra. Present. Ok, very good. Teomar Cruz. Present. Ok, nice. Jonathan Alexander. Jonathan, are you there? Jonathan? Hmm. Okay, I guess I guess he has some problems with the internet. Carla Benazir? Present. Okay, good. Natalie Vanessa? Hmm. Okay, she has not showed up. Nubia Zulema? Present teacher. Ah, okay, very good. Uh, Romeo Alexis hasn't showed up. Uh, Rosa del Carmen. Rosa del Carmen, are you there? Ah. Ooh. ah, that's why. That's why. Okay. Let's see. Roxana Yesenia. Roxana Yesenia. Okay. Okay, pero yo sí le escucho. Okay, okay. Ah, Salvador Alfonso. Okay. Roxana se la está llevando la corriente, creo yo. Yes, yes. Creo que a todos. Ya, porque acá está una tormenta horrible también. Everybody. Uh, uh, let's see. Um, Stephanie Adeline. Hmm. Yeah, she's, she continues saying. Uh, Stephanie Lisette. Okay, no, not here yet. William Alberto. Mm, not connected yet. And the last one, Joanny Noemi. Joanny? Hello. Gracias. Ok, Joan. Es que no la escucho. Pero yo sí la escucho. Ay, sí, chaval, tengo problemas ahora. Ay, ay, ay. That's what I'm, uh, I'm, I'm expecting because in here it's raining a lot. No sé, no sé si se escucha claro cuando hablo, pero sí está lloviendo bastante fuerte acá. Yo creo, creo que esto es algo eh, al, eh, en, todo el, en todo el país. That's why, I mean, uh, we're facing these problems. That's why. Because Jonathan, I don't know if Jonathan listened to me, but I think Jonathan has problems. Uh, Roxana se queda sin energía. <laughs> Let's see. Ok, espero que Rosa del Carmen no se quede sin, no se quede sin energía. <risa> ya le ha pasado, ¿verdad, Rosa? A ver. <risa> yes, ok. Well, let's see. Let's Porque start. si me dice, mi papá hasta fue, hasta fue y nos trajo unos pedacitos de, de hielo, pues te estaba cayendo el granizo. Ah, ¿Really? ¿En serio? Sí, y si quieres le tomo una foto y se las enseño ahí. ¿Y dónde vive Rosa del Carmen? Send it to WhatsApp. En San Salvador. Ah, ¿y en qué parte de San Salvador? Wow. Eh, aquí, eh, Salvador. Ah, ok. Sí, porque yo vivo en Mexicano y empieza a llover. Está lloviendo en San Salvador. Ah, right. No, aquí ya casi una hora de que está lloviendo. Wow. Something, never, something that will que... never happen in here. Algo que jamás va a pasar acá. Yo se estaba dudando en conectarme porque... Aquí con mi familia está casi gritándonos para escucharnos porque de verdad que eh, no se escuchaba al principio. Wow. 
que sí estaba ah, lloviendo okay. bastante fuerte ahorita porque ya más o menos se calmó. Y no. mire, teacher, a modo de paréntesis, ¿sabe por qué no, eso nunca va a pasar allá en San Miguel? Ajá. Porque mucha salsa comen. Oh, eh, eh, mentira. Solo para romper el hielo. Oh. Eh. Como dicen, golpe bajo. Hey, no, pero sí, es algo que jamás va a pasar acá. Bueno, nunca ha pasado. And I think it will never happen. Uh, the thing is that, it, but that, but those places in there, it's like kind of cool. The weather is un tanto fresco, right? The weather is kind of cool. And in here, hmm, todo lo opuesto. But anyways. Okay, let's start. Let's start. Give me, give me a second. I'm going to put the presentation that we're going to have for tonight. Antes de que me continúen haciendo bullying por mi salsita. No, solo la nueva solicitud, eh, teacher. Eh, lo que le mencionó Carlos el día de ayer. Si, si nos pudiera mandar ahorita la presentación para trabajar ah. sobre la presentación misma, ah, okay, por favor. Ok, ok, give me a second. Gracias. I'm gonna, I'm, okay, give me a second. Give me a second. I'm going to stop sharing. Mm. I think I got WhatsApp open. Yeah. I got WhatsApp open. Give me a second. I'm going to share it. Mm, let's see. There you go. Ahí está. Okay. Uh, I already sent it to the group. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thanks, teacher. All right. Thank you for reminding me. Sí, lo iba a hacer y, y se, me, se me fue por alto por la preocupación que tenía por, porque pensé que, que, que no íbamos a tener la clase porque sí estaba viviendo bastante fuerte por acá. But anyways, the good thing is that we continue here. Give me a second. There you go. Let's put it like this. Ok. Uh, ¿Me confirman que pueden ver la presentación? Can you see it? Yes, teacher. Ok, perfect. Uh, this topic is going to be like kind of easy, right? Eh, en realidad acá, eh, este tema ya es, eh, ya es algo que para los, los uh, que hemos venido trabajando en el módulo, los que trabajamos en el módulo 1, pues eh, nos va a resultar bastante sencillo. Y pues para ustedes también que, que no estuvieron en el módulo 1 con nosotros, uh, lo, van a, a, lo van a sentir un tanto sencillo. Ok, uh, this is the video conference number four. And the topic is simple present negative statements. Entonces vamos a hablar de las formas negativas del presente simple. Ok, something like really easy. Ok, why that easy? Because we have been working this topic before. Okay, ya hemos trabajado este tema anteriormente. Okay, and I think we don't have that much problem. Entonces acá lo vamos a hacer más que todo a modo de práctica. Okay, solo hacer un pequeño review uh, en cuanto a oraciones. Okay, I like negative sentences, of course. Y luego pues nos vamos a ir directamente a, a varias prácticas que vamos a hacer. That's uh, uh, pretty much what we're going to have like in this video conference. But let's start with the class agenda, okay? Como los puntos más relevantes que vamos a tener durante la clase, okay? Uh, the first thing is going to be the review from the previous class. Vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso de la clase anterior. Cuáles fueron los temas principales que estuvimos discutiendo, okay? What were we practicing? Y pues me van a proveer de algunos ejemplos, of course. Then we're going to have, uh, uh, let's see, Rosa, ayúdeme a leer, por favor. Simple present negative statements in first person and plural. Ah, okay, very good. Simple present negative statements in first person and plural. All right, Eric. Simple present negative statement in third person singular. Ah, okay, very good. And that's pretty much the, the, the two main 
um, structures that we're going to be working like right now. Okay, with first person and plurals and also with third person. Recordemos que usamos el mismo auxiliar. Okay, we use the same auxiliary verb, pero en tercera persona recordemos que cambia. Okay, el auxiliar para formar oraciones en negativo. Uh, we generally going to uh, work uh, with um, with general activities. That's what we're gonna be doing. Then we're gonna continue with some exercises in the manual. Vamos a trabajar con algunos ejercicios en el manual. Okay. We're gonna finish some previous exercises from yesterday and the ones from today. Okay. And then we're gonna check those exercises. Okay. Entonces, básicamente, esto es un poco de lo que vamos a tener uh, en esta videoconferencia. Okay, to start, what was the main topic that we were discussing yesterday? ¿Cuál fue el tema principal de ayer? Let us talk a little bit about that, okay, before starting with the main topic. What do you remember from yesterday's class? The use uh, of how much and how many. Okay, thank you, Eric. The use of how much and how many. Nubia, when do we use how much? How much? Uh, when... Uh, with the money? Uh, how much? How much? In what aspects do we use how much? Aparte de money, the, the, the word money, in what other aspects can we use how much? Um, uh, countable nouns. Right. With countable nouns, Nubia, how much? Yes. Countable or uncountable? Mostly. Oh, yeah. Countable or uh, uncountable? Countable. Countable? Are you sure? <laughs> okay, Fatima. Uh, Fatima, ayúdenle. Eh, para cosas incontables. Countable. Uncountable. Yes. Uncountable. All right. Uh, mencionábamos en la, en la pequeña definición, Nubia, que a pesar de que lo usamos con nombres incontables, en la respuesta lo podemos usar con cosas contables, ¿ok? Cuando damos el precio sobre algo o cuando ah, mencionamos okay. la cantidad de algo que probablemente vamos a consumir. Ejemplo de ello, how much water are you going to drink? Listen up, that is uncountable, right? Right, Nubia? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the moral of answer to that, I can say, um, I drink, right? If it is simple present, I drink, you can say, you can have different ways of answer. You can say, I drink a lot of water. Okay, bebo mucha agua. Or, I drink a gallon of water. So you see? Ahí ya estamos, ya estamos mencionando algo contable. A gallon. One a gallon. So you see, in that case, we got something, right? Countable. Okay, Nubia? Yes. All right, perfect. Now, uh, Mrs. Janet, when do we use how many? Uh, if it was, um, if, um, Cuando es contable, ¿verdad? Que se puede contar. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ok, very good. Something else that we can add? Algo más que podamos agregar eh, con el uso de how many? We use teacher. Ajá, Carlos. Eh, cuando se usa, bueno, se usa en, en plurales. Ah, ok. How good. many? Ok, very good. ¿Puedo usarlo con un nombre en singular? How many? ¿La estructura de how many? 
¿Puedo usarlo con un nombre en singular? De acuerdo a la regla, no. Mm. Hasta donde compré. Ya, yeah. yeah, ok. Yeah, that's true. Eh, eh, cuando usamos la estructura de how many, the main noun, el nombre que llevamos después de how many, tiene que ser siempre plural. Ok. Nunca vamos a colocar o nunca vayan a colocar un noun que sea en singular. Ok. Never that happens. Porque la estructura, even in translation, even, inclusive en traducción, se traduce como cuántos o cuántas. Ok. Desde ahí ya inicia la pregunta en plural. Ok. Entonces, no vamos a decir cuántos celular. All right. That's not, uh, I mean, that is not, uh, it doesn't have sense. Ok. No tendría sentido la, la pregunta. Ok. Because uh, it is impossible to write down a question. Ok. With how many and put the name, the noun in this case, in singular. It has to be in plural. Ok. ¿Cuándo podemos utilizar eh, un singular? Con how many. En la respuesta nada más. Ejemplo de ello. How many computers do you have? ¿Cuántas computadoras tienes? Ah, I have one computer. Right? I'm mentioning only one. So I cannot say one computers with S. All right? That is incorrect. It has to say I have one computer. Okay, so the answer can be in singular, but the question must be in plural. Okay, so thank you, Carlos. That was that was that was good. Okay, perfect. Uh, now let's put this into context. Dilmar, do you remember the structures of questions using how many, right? La estructura es how many más plural noun. Okay, perfect. Based on that structure, Gilmar, I want you to ask one question to Salvador Alfonso. I need to see how much we remember about this structure. Ask the question and he is going to answer. How many cell, uh, how many cell phones uh, do you have? Okay, very good. Salvador? Um, uh, I have one cell phone. Okay, very good. Thank you, Salvador, and thank you, Telmar. Now, Mrs. Rutia. Ah, ya vine. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hi. Natalie me dijo que usted no se iba a conectar ahora. Que le había dicho que hoy no se iba a conectar. No, mentira. <laughs> no le creas. Sí, la noche de shock dijo. Ah. ah, ya vino Ana María. Hi, Ana María. Ay, ah, ella es la que andaba de Esas shock. son calumnias. Ajá, calumnias. <laughs> ok, listen, Mrs. Rutia, I want you to ask one question using how much to Natalie, Vanessa. I need to see how much we remember. Ok. Um... <laughs> okay, remember it's how much plus multiple nouns. Okay. Hoy sí me agarró en curva. Why? Example. Listen. Example. How much? How much salt? How much salt do you use to cook? ¿Cuánta sal ocupa en la comida? O le pone a la comida. O le pone a la comida. Ajá. Ajá, Mrs. Urrutia. ¿Me puede repetir la pregunta? 
How much salt do you use in your food? Mm -hmm. I'm... All right, the answer it will be I. Y cómo se podría dar como un como un un tanto de de cuánta sal ocupo. Ah, en este caso I use a Lo... lot a lot of salt. Uso mucha sal. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. use a uh, a little bit of salt. Ah, uso poca sal. You see, we, we can answer like that. Okay. Ajá. Okay, Mrs. Urrutia. Ahora su pregunta, Natalie. <laughs> Esa era la mía. I was mine. <laughs> How much the sugar to use in the coffee? <laughs> how much sugar? Okay, how much sugar? I use sugar. Okay. No, I use no, I use a poco, como se dice, teacher? Okay, a little. A little uh, sugar in the coffee. In my coffee, okay. In my coffee, in my coffee. Okay, very good. Very nice. So that's the structure, okay, of when using how much. Okay, now let's see some extra examples that we got here. Give me a second. Okay, let's see these examples. And for these examples, I want Carla to help me read this question. How much soda do you drink? Okay, very good. Salvador, give me the answer. I drink a lot of soda. Okay, very good. I drink a lot of soda. Okay, it's like consumo mucha o bebo mucha soda. Okay, yeah, that's a big quantity. Okay, nice. Let's continue. Um, let's see, Fatima, read the question. How much do you, do your computer cost? Okay, very good. How much do your computers cost? So you see, this is a very formal question. Okay, ya acá, esta es una pregunta bastante formal. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos usando el auxiliar do, Okay, y el verbo cost. Okay, acá ya no usamos el verbo to be. So, all right, Joanny, read the answer. They cost. ¿Cómo se dice quinientos? They cost five hundred. They cost five hundred dollars each. 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 Okay, very good. They cost five hundred dollars each. Okay, cuestan quinientos dólares cada una. Okay, that's each. Very good. There you go. Now this is a little bit of hey, plural. Uh, let's see, Ana Maria, read the question. How many students are there in the class? Okay, very good. How many students are there in the class? Uh, let's see, William. Read, please. Um, there are uh -huh. 20 students in the class. Okay, perfect. There are 20 students in the class, okay? In this case, if you see, the answer it must be countable, all right? Must be countable. Because we're using the structure of how many. Rosa del Carmen, read the question, please.
Rosa, are you there? Hi, teacher, casi no la escucho. Read, read. Okay. How many people swing in the stadium? Ah, okay, very good. How many people scream in the stadium? Did you know what is a scream? Okay. What is a scream? Pantalla. No, that's a screen with double E and N. Okay. Scream is like when you say, God, and you scream. Grito. Uh -huh. Exactly, but the verb, gritar, okay? That's a scream. Very good. How many people scream in the stadium? Let's see who can help me out with this. Hey, Roxana, let's. Natalie. 400 people scream in the stadium. Okay, very good. 400 people. Okay, a scream in the stadium. Okay, there you go. So remember that it's for countable things, okay? With countable nouns. So in that case, we're using 400. Good. Uh, right up to now, do you have any question with this? Alguna duda con respecto a, a los usos de how many and how much? Something that might not be clear for you right now? Algo que no esté del todo claro para, para ustedes? Teacher, yes. la diferencia entre, entre la pregunta formal y las otras solo es que lleva eh, dos verbos, o no sé, ahí. Ok, no, the difference is, eh, for example, que en la nota formal llevamos el verbo to be en la forma de is o en la forma de are cuando es pregunta en plural, ok. Ahí va actuando como auxiliar y la misma vez como verbo principal, el verbo to be. Ok, y como ya pregunta formal, ya llevamos un auxiliar que en este caso es do y el verbo cost, cuando ya estamos hablando, ok, de precios, ok, like in the example that we got there, como en el ejemplo que tenemos ahí, dice, how much do your computers cost, ok, so en ese caso ahí, si la pregunta fuera con el verbo to be, simplemente dijera, How much are they? And that's it. Y eso sería todo. Or how much are the computers? You see? And that's it. Entonces ahí sería la pregunta. Pero eso es un tanto informal, ¿ok? This is more formal. ¿Por qué? Porque llevamos el auxiliar, que en este caso es do, ¿ok? The main word, que en este caso es la, la, la palabra computers. And then the main verb. Y en este caso, al, al final, el verbo principal, que en este caso sería cost. Are we clear, Fátima? Sí. Gracias. Gracias. Okay, perfect. Very good. Now, let's continue. Because right now we're going to start a short practice with this. Okay. Uh, this is, this is uh, the last thing that we're going to be doing with how many and how much. Okay. Dejamos esta pequeña conversación. Eh, en la sección del manual uh, from yesterday that it, it was kind of pending, okay? Before starting the main topic for tonight, we're going to practice this short conversation. Vamos a darle una pequeña práctica a esta conversación antes de pasar ya a las formas negativas del verbo, uh, okay? Del presente simple, okay? That's going to be like pretty simple for you. We're going to apply the same dynamic, okay? Vamos a aplicar la misma dinámica. Voy a leer... Eh, la conversación, ¿ok? Y si al final de la conversación tienen una palabra que no comprendamos muy bien la pronunciación o no sepamos qué significa en español, just let me know, ¿ok? Me lo hacen saber. Let's see, let's start. And I say, listen up. Uh, this is a conversation between Ben, Jeff, And at the end, it appears a third person that is called Mario, okay, or Mario. And it says, Ben, listen, Jeff, how are you doing? How are you doing? I want to ask you. I want 
to ask you, how many days a week do you work? How many days a week do you work? And it says Jeff. Hey Ben, well. Hey Ben, well. I work five days a week. I work five days a week. And you? And you? And it says Ben. That's great. That's great. I work four week days. I work four weekdays. And sometimes on Sundays. And sometimes on Sundays. And it says Jeff. Really? Uh, I mean, on Saturdays, sorry, I, I was blind. It says, I, I heard some Sunday. Uh, on Saturdays, do you work extra hours? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? For each extra hour. And it says, Ben, yes, I work extra hours. I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. When there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. Each extra hour is around $10. And it says, Jeff, I see, I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Sometimes there is not much time, right? And it says, I, I think in that case, instead of Mario, they wanted to put a Ben, all right? And it says, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, that's the pronunciation of that word. Absolutamente. Very good. Okay, from here, from this conversation, do we have any word that probably we do not understand? ¿Hay alguna palabra que no comprendamos o alguna palabra en la que tengamos problemas al pronunciar? La última, teacher. La última palabra. Absolutely. 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 Yeah. Okay, very good. Any other word? Alguna otra palabra que en, en la cual tengamos tal vez uh, problemas de pronunciación o eh, that we do not understand? Teacher, este, en la última de Jeff, eh, no le entiendo muy bien qué es lo que quiere decir. Uh, okay. Cuando dice I see, uh, well, sometimes there are there isn't a much time, right? Okay. Uh, the translation, you, know, you don't understand the question. Uh, translation. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I see, ya veo. Okay, I see. Well, bien. Sometimes there is, there is not much time. Uh, bien, uh, a veces no hay mucho tiempo, ¿cierto? O a veces no queda mucho tiempo, ¿cierto? That's the translation of that question. Okay. Okay, thank you, teacher. All right, you're welcome. Any other one? Okay. Teacher, teacher, teacher. Yeah, tell me, Nubia. Uh, en la segunda, bueno, en la, sí, en la segunda frase donde está Jeff, ahí menciona que él trabaja cinco días 
a la semana. Yeah, five days pero, a week. Pero cuando contesta Ben, ¿cómo se entiende eso de que él trabaja cuatro semanas, día? ¿Cómo se... se yeah, uh, yeah. Ok, it says, listen up, I work four week days. Es lo mismo, weekdays, es lo mismo que decir days a week. Solo que de manera invertida. Ok. It's the same. All right. En este caso, nosotros que, por decirlo así, trabajamos de lunes a viernes. Ah, vamos a decir five weekdays. Cinco días a la semana. That's the translation. Ok. Oh. Yes. Okay. So just the word weekdays. Weekdays is like días de la semana. Okay. Uh, es lo mismo que dijésemos days of the week. It's the same. All right. It's the same. Okay. Perfect. Now that we're going to be doing like this, this, this thing, I want uh, we to start a short practice because I need this to be clear. Mm, Salvador, can we start, Salvador? I would like to uh, you to work with, uh, let's see, Natalie. Okay. Y no va a estar durmiéndose. No, no me estoy durmiendo. Ajá, ajá. Okay. All right, Salvador and Natalie, let's start uh, the practice, please. Ok, empieza usted, Salvador, empiezo yo. Empiezo si quieres. Ok. Give, how, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, man. Five a week. That's great. Work for weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra work? Hours? Hours. 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 And how much money do they pay for each extra day? Hours? Mm -hmm. Yes, I work extra hours when there is so much work to do. Each extra hours is around ten dollars. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, Salvador, and thank you, Natalie. Now, Carla. I want you to practice this conversation with Eric. Hi, Carla. Hi. ¿Comienza usted o comienzo yo, Eric? Como quiera. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week, and you? That's great. I work for weeks, days, um, sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work ex extra hours when there is too much work to do, each extra hours, hours is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. 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 Okay, very good. So thank you, Eric, and thank you, Carla. Now, thank Stephanie, you. Janet. I want you to practice this conversation with Jelmar. Okay. Okay. Empiezo. Como guste. Okay, empiezo. 
Yes. How are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, then. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hours? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much this there is not much time time right absolutely okay perfect thank you mrs janet and um let's see gilmar okay now let's start with anna maria and mrs urrutia anna okay. maria start <clears throat> okay okay Inicio yo. Yes, you. Ok. ¿Estamos listos, Mrs. Urrutia? <laughs> sí. Ok, bien. Yes, uh, Jeff, how, how are you doing? I, um, Listen up. I, how are you doing? How are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey Ben, well, I work five days a week, and you? That's great. I I work four weekdays. Um, sometimes on so Saturday. Saturday. Really? On Saturday? Do you work extra hour? And how much money do you they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each ex extra hours in around ten dollar. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you, Ana Maria, and thank you, uh, Mrs. Rutia. Okay. okay, now let's do it with uh, Rosa del Carmen. Are you there? Ah, yeah, she's there. And uh, Fatima. Rosa, inicio yo a usted. Inicio usted. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, man. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do you pay for each extra hour? Mm -hmm. What? Yes, I work extra hour when there is so much work to do. Each extra hour is around ten dollars. I see. Well, sometimes there is no much time, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, Rosa, and thank you, Fatima. You did it excellent. Now, Carlos, let's just start up okay. with um, Nubia. Okay. okay. Uh, Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work for week days and sometimes on Saturday. Really? On Saturday? Do you work extra hours? And uh, how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours 
when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around ten dollars. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Okay, very good. Thank you, Carlos, and thank you, Nubia. Natalie, are you there? Ah, there you go. Okay, mm -hmm. let me see. Let me see. <laughs> I think Joanne is missing. Joanne, are you there? Ah, yeah, she's there. Okay, let's start the practice. Okay. Jen, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days week do you work? Natalie? Hola. Espérame, teacher, que la, la conversación se me perdió. Ok. Eh, ella empezó, ¿verdad? Yes. A, sí. A, Ben, well, I work five days a week, and you? That's great. I work for week days and sometimes on Saturday. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours. When there is too much work to do, each extra hours is around $10. I see. Well, well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. okay. Very good. Very nice. So let's see. Let's let's put up the last one. William, are you there? I want you to practice with uh, Ana Garcia. Okay. 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 Go on. Eh, comienza yo, comienza usted. Yes. Yes. How are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? Yes, great. I work for weekdays and sometimes on some Saturday. Really? On Saturday? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Very good. Yes, yes, I work extra hour when there is too much work to do. Each extra hours is around ten dollar. I see. Well, sometimes there is no much time, right? Absolutely. 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 Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, William. All right, who's missing? I, I, I have the feeling that a person is missing, but I don't know who. Hmm. Okay, let's give it up the temptation. Ah, Jonathan. Jonathan abandonó. Okay, let's continue then. Okay, now that we have been practicing this short conversation, Let's move on to the main topic that we're going to have for tonight. So we got negative statements, okay? This is the very, very uh, main topic that we have for tonight, okay? The negative statements. Okay, a brief question for all of you. What is the structure or what is the auxiliary verb that we do or we need to make negative statements? What is the auxiliary verb for negative statements? Not. Okay, we got not, but also we got, we need the auxiliary verb. What is the auxiliary verb? 
For negative statement. Don't. Ok, don't. En este caso, el, adjective, el, el main negative uh, auxiliar, en este caso sería do. Recordemos que el verbo auxiliar sería do, ok. Ya con, con, con el not, ok, ya forman el don't cuando los contractamos, ok. So, in that case, that is the auxiliary verb that we need to create a uh, sentences in negative. This will be the structure. Look, we got the subject. Remember, the subject can be a proper noun, like for example, Erika, Stephanie, like Fatima, Jelmar, right? Uh, Carlos, okay, that is the subject. A proper name or a pronoun, like I, you, we, she, he, they, and then we got do, okay? Remember that do can only be used with I, you, we, and they, okay? I, you, we, and they, or plural noun. For example, Natalie and Anna, that is plural because there are two people, okay? Do plus not. En este caso acá lo he puesto separado. Do, que es el verbo auxiliar. Y luego not, que es ya la forma negativa. Then the main verb. En este caso sería el verbo principal. El verbo que indica la acción. Okay? What are we going to be talking about or uh, asking about? And then the complement. The complement is to make the sentence or question more specific. Okay, good. We have an example. Let's see. Joanny, read the example, please. I do not play soccer. Okay. I do not play soccer. So you see, in this case, we are doing a negative action in here. All right. In este caso, estamos diciendo que no jugamos football. You see, in that case, that's something negative. Si la oración fuese positiva, recordemos, ahí simplemente eliminaríamos el do not. Y diríamos, I play soccer. That would be positive, okay? But in here, we got it negative. So I do not play soccer. Let's see another one. Let's, Ana Maria, read it. You do not have day off. You don't have day off. En este caso acá ya estamos contractando el do y el not. Ok. Y ya lo formamos en una sola palabra que en este caso sería don't. Ok. You don't have day off. All right. You know what is day off, right? What is a day off? ¿Qué es day Día off? libre. Día, Día libre. libre. Ok, very good. Día libre. Ok, good. Teacher, is this a free day? Yeah, a free day. Yeah, it's likely similar. Okay, okay. but this is, this, is, this is more common. Ok, day off is ah. more common. Ok, thank you. Ok. Next uh, example, Nubia, help me out reading. We do not work on Sunday. Okay. We do not work on Sundays. You see, that's a negative statement, okay? About an activity that probably we do not develop, okay? During the day. Okay. And then we got another one, William. Uh, they don't practice English. Okay, they don't practice English. Okay, nice. From here, is there something that might not be clear for you? Hay algo que, que no esté claro? Okay, how to use this type of negative statement? Recordemos, acá simplemente estamos... Um, 
practicing o viendo oraciones en primera persona, segunda y plurales, ¿ok? Plurals. Faltan las terceras personas, pero eso lo tenemos en otra, en otra, en otra slides, en otra presentación, a mi diapositiva. Uh, do we have any question up to here? ¿Alguna pregunta? No. Okay, perfect. Now, what do I really want from you? Uh, we're gonna do a short practice, but uh, later on, uh, uh, I, I, I'm gonna show the third person and then we're gonna do the practice better. I think that will be uh, the best way for the practice. Okay, but right now, I want you to give me an example about an activity that you don't do. For example, I don't, listen up, I don't teach English on Sundays, all right? No, no classes in English, or no in English, los domingos. Okay, that's something negative I do. Okay, now give me something negative that you do not do, okay? Let's think about it. Quiero que me escriban una oración de una actividad que ustedes no suelen hacer. Okay, un día específico. What is that activity that you don't do on a specific day? When you have it, let me know, please. Cuando la tengan, me lo hacen saber. Ok, perfect. Mientras están haciendo la oración, ok, while you're doing it, voy a pasar asistencia, because it's, it's 9.02. Just give me a second. Remember, the sentence must be negative. Okay, let's see. Uh, Milcar Gustavo, no here, right? Ana Claribel. Present. Okay, very good. Ana Maria. Present. Okay. Carlos Eduardo. Present. Excellent. Eric Guillermo. Present. Very good. Stephanie Janet. Present. Ok, nice. Fatima Alejandra. Present. Very good. Gilmar uh, Cruz. Present. Very good. Jonathan Alexander. Uh, Jonathan had problems with the internet. Uh, Carla Benazir. Present. Ok, nice. Natalie Vanessa. Present. Very good. Uh, Nubia Zulema. Present, teacher. Okay, excellent. Romeo Alexis. Okay, no here. Rosa del Carmen. Rosa del Carmen. Uh, Rosa, are you there? Rosa. Ah, okay, okay, nice. Uh, Roxana Yesenia. Okay, I think Roxana left. Anyways, uh, Stephanie Adeline. Okay, it's not here. Salvador Alfonso. Present the chair. Okay, excellent. Stephanie. Lisset. Present. Okay, nice. William Alberto. Present. Okay, great. And Joanny Noemi. Okay, where is Joanny? Ah, she left. Okay, that's weird. Okay, perfect. Do you finish the example? Okay, yes, nice. Yes. Okay, yes. nice. Nice. I'm going to start with Natalie. Natalie, can you please uh, read your example? I don't go to parties on the weekends. 
Ah, only on weekdays. No. <laughs> uh -huh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Natalie. Let's see. Mrs. Urrutia. Teacher. Teacher. Ajá, Johnny. Uh, no sé si va a estar lista. En esto hubo como un apagón de luz. <laughs> Me acabo ah. de conectar otra vez. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ahorita la agrego. Ok, there you go. Ok. Mrs. Urrutia. Ok. I'm, I don't day off on Saturday. I don't day off on Saturday or in Saturday. On, but in this case, uh, no tengo día libre los sábados. That's sí. what you mean? Porque trabajo. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Listen up. In that case, I, I, I is missing. In that case, you can say, I don't have day off on no. Saturday. Okay? I, I have. Don't, I huh? don't have day off. Okay. All right. All right. Nice. Thank you, uh, Stephanie. Now, uh, Joanny, read your example. I don't listen music on Monday in the morning. Okay. Very good. On Monday in the morning. Very nice, Joanny. Uh, Mrs. Janet. Uh, Joy said, I do not cook on the weekend. Okay, I do not cook on the weekend. Thank you, Eric. I I don't wake early on Sundays. Okay, I don't wake up early on Sundays. Okay, very good, Eric. Carlos Eduardo. I don't work on Sunday. Okay, I don't work on Sundays. Jelmar? Eric me ganó la pregunta. <laughs> Choose another one. I don't wait. I don't wear. Wear up. ¿Cómo es? Get up. Wear up. Uh -huh. Early Get up. on Sunday. Wear up. Uh -huh. Early on Sunday. Ah, good. What time do you usually get up? Get up. I usually get up uh, these days uh, 11. <laughs> At what time? 11. 11. 11. Oh my God. I wish I could wake up at that time for real. That Pero pregúntale a qué hora llega a la casa. Le voy a decir que a las 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Is that true, Gilmar? 3 a.m. 3 a.m. Ok. Ah, muy bien. Es entendible entonces. Ok. No, under... no, pero de trabajar, teacher. De trabajar. Yeah, si sale tarde. Sí, claro. yes. Extra hours. Extra ah, okay. hours. Extra hours. All days. Uh. Ah, that's why. That's why. Ah, pues sí, entonces sí se lo merece. That's great. Uh, but, but you're from San Salvador, right, Gilmar? Yes. Okay. Yeah, near, near uh, the English Corporation. Really? Yeah, near the... De cerca del edificio de English Corporativo? Really? Yes, yes. Ah, interesting. Okay. Nice. I have never gone there. Yo nunca he ido ahí, pero bueno, algún día voy a ir. I will go one day. This is, the thing is that it's too far from there. Ah, bueno, pero bien. That's good. Y lo bueno es que, pues, if you live in San Salvador, it's okay to wake up at that time. Aquí es San Miguel, créame. A las nueve ya se quiere levantar porque el calor o se levanta o se levanta. 
Sorry, bro. <laughs> okay. I live in, uh, in Bucanero, San Salvador. Uh -huh. Nice. Okay, I had never, I had never gone there, but I, I, I think it's kind of cool. So at, at least the weather. What? Eh, supongo que por lo menos los, eh, en las mañanas, antes del mediodía, es bastante fresco por ahí. Super, super fresco. Hay wow. muchos árboles. Eh, se duerme rico. Wow. Más con la cobija de pelo, más rico. <risa> Qué genial. I'm here. Acá no, acá no, no sabemos que son cobijas. At Me night. Imagino. Yeah, surreal. No. Sufro acá. cuando viajo a San Miguel a veces. Sí, sí, aquí se sufre con todo. But anyways. Que... <laughs> bueno, ni modo, hay que acostumbrarse. Nice. Well, thank you, Chalmar. Now, Salvador, read your example, Salvador. Okay, teacher, I don't like drive, uh, driving on Sunday. I don't write? Like. Ah. I don't like ah, okay. driving. driving ah, okay. Okay, all right. Very good. Thank you. Let's see who's missing. Ana Maria, I think you haven't, I haven't participated. I don't go to the San Miguel. I, at least, I don't go to San Miguel. I know that you, I mean, one day you will come in here. Yo sé que algún día futuro va a venir y se va a acordar de mí. No, ya fui, fui, a, fui una vez y solo cuando regresé después de estar una semana ya me dio varicela. <risa> I'm sorry then. Ok, lo siento entonces. Uf. Mal recuerdo de la Ana María. Sí, yo veía personas que andaban con blusas, manga larga, color negro y yo decía Dios. Si sí, es que yo me estoy muriendo de calor y todo el mundo me veía como soy un poquito blanca, ¿verdad? Entonces me, ve, me veían rojita de la cara y me decía, ¿qué tiene? Yo toda deshidratada. <laughs> Look at me, a guy with long lives. And I mean, I feel cool like right now because it's raining. Uh, lo siento entonces, Ana María. Gran sufrimiento tuvo que pasar. <laughs> But it's, but it's nice. I mean, San Miguel is nice. All right. People, people is nice. I mean, like me, right? Of course. ¿Cómo se llama el hotel? ¿Cómo se llama? El Tropic? No. Tropico Inn? Ajá. Allí estuve. Y yo no quería salir de ahí. Porque era una como conferencia. Ah. Okay. Yeah. That, that, that's, that's kind of cool. That hotel. Sí, es bastante interesante ese hotel. Sí, he ido a varias conferencias ahí. Ya, yeah. uh, kind of cool. Mire, I... teacher, pero en, en lo particular yo pienso, sí, San Miguel es caliente, pero es más caliente, siento Botera y, y Usulután. Uh, mm, y en, actually... en, lo partic, en lo particular, a mí me dio un gran dolor de cabeza una vez en Usulután. Yeah, de insolación. Mire, yeah, I mean, in, in Usulután, yeah, tiende a ser también un tanto caliente en algunos sectores. Ya, yeah, no, 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 no. All, all of them, pero en algunos sectores, like for example, si ya buscamos el municipio de Santiago de María, Alegría, I mean, esos son municipios frescos, ok, but Usulután Centro, Downtown, uf, like San Miguel, pero uh, I mean, a ahí subió en Usulután Centro, mm, yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's hard, eh, another place that is like the hottest one in, in, in Oriente, it's Santa Rosa, Santa Rosa es like extremely hot. Hay Santa Rosa es mucho más caliente que San Miguel sí. en Usulota. Yeah. Sí. That's, that's uf, horrible. Ok. So, Ana María, no. 
Es que, es que Oriente es para la gente, ah, ¿cómo se le dice? No tan débil. ¿Y usted ahorita tiene frío o calor? Que lo veo con una camisa hasta manga larga. Ah, uh, no, no, no. I mean, I, I feel normal. I got it in here because I, I, um, before the class, I was coming from work. So, venía de trabajo, entonces, ah, no me quise de vestir, entonces, I, I remained with this. That's why. Aparte got, que él como I tiene aire acondicionado, ¿verdad? Air conditioner. Nah, ¿y de dónde? Sí. Ay, too expensive. Que... That's too expensive, the electricity here. Nah. Por ejemplo, ahorita, ahorita aquí está el viento exagerado. Really? Solo porque estoy bien encerrada, sí. Y está ya empezó a llover bien fuerte. Wow. Horriblemente fuerte. No, acá simplemente... Por eso no lo tengo Natalie, ver está haciendo mucho viento. La, la, la casa. Está haciendo mucho viento. Es Pero... cierto, Tichen. Mucho ah. viento está haciendo ahorita. Uh -huh. Wow. No, acá simplemente sí, no. está... Ana María no miente. No miente. Y pues acá, mi aire acondicionado es un ventilador que está al 3 con todo ahorita. Ajá. Es el único win que tengo. Sí, él se lo cree. ¿No se le ah. ve que se le mueve el pelo? Ah, no, I, I mean, don't you, don't you believe me? There it is, no, look. I'm, I mean, I'm not lying. So you see... <laughs> Está con todo. Ok, let's continue. Let me see who's missing. Uh, William, read your example, William. Uh -huh. William, are you there? Hola, Natalie. Yes. Ok, William, read your example. About the... Ah, but the uses uh, are negatives. Okay. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't mm -hmm. swim in the pool the Monday. Nah, okay. I don't swim in the pool on Monday. Very good. Carlos, did you participate already? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. I think I, I got the feeling of a person is missing. Ana, yeah, Ana Garcia. Yeah, she's missing. Your, read your example. I don't get up on Sunday at 6 a.m. Okay, very good. You don't get up at 6 on Sundays. That's great. Yeah, okay. Cool. Let's continue, but in this case, let's do it in third person because later on, we're going to do a practice in pairs with those things. Let's continue. And it says third person negative statements. Okay. And we got the structure. Look at the structure. We got subject plus does not plus main verb and plus complement. Entonces, acá, ¿cuál es la diferencia? La diferencia es que en subject ya vamos a usar un singular, ¿ok? It might be a proper name or a pronoun. In this case, remember, the pronoun might be he, she, or it, ¿ok? And proper nouns, I can say like Rosa, I can say, uh, let's see, Joanny, right? Even Salvador, ¿ok? One specific person. And we got the example. She does not send text messages, right? This is a very negative statement. She does not send text messages, okay? That is something negative. Let me see. Joanny, read the example number two. She doesn't speak to language. languages. Languages. Okay, very good. He doesn't speak to languages. So you see, in that case, aquí ya en esta oración sí ya tenemos contractado el does y el not. Okay. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre que vaya contractado y el que vaya separado? La diferencia es que el contractado es menos formal. 
eh, donde no hay contracción, en este caso la, en la primera oración, esa es una oración bien formal. Ok, let's keep that in mind. The first one is a very formal um, sentence. And the other one is informal. Okay, remember the first one is very formal and the second one is not that formal. Okay, let's see. Gilmar, read the next example. Gilmar, are you there? All right, I think he has problems with connection. Salvador, are you there? Salvador, ah, okay, okay, mister, read the example, please. Uh, Carlos does not read books. Ah, okay, very good. Carlos does not read books. Okay, in that case, remember, it has to be third person, okay? Third person. And the last one, Carlos. Okay. Kenya doesn't was here closer. Close. Close. Yeah, yeah, very good. Okay, Senia doesn't wash her clothes. So in this case, remember, en este caso ya el verbo pues no sufre ninguna modificación, el verbo principal. ¿Por qué? Porque el verbo auxiliar está haciendo la acción de la tercera persona. ¿Ok? In that case, that is the reason why we don't write down, ¿Ok? Um, the S o IES o ES to the main verb. Entonces, por eso no añadimos las terminaciones a los verbos principales. O sea, no les agregamos S, ES, IES. ¿Por qué? Porque el verbo auxiliar es la acción de la tercera persona. Ok. Right up to here. Do we have any question? Hasta acá. ¿Tenemos alguna pregunta? Something that might not be clear for you? Every, or everything is perfect right up to now. O todo está claro hasta acá. Everything perfect? Okay, good. If everything is perfect, now let's start the practice. Bien, entonces, si todo está bien, vamos a comenzar una práctica. Listen up. What are we going to do? Let's see. Habemos 16. Okay, sí, son 16. But let me confirm. Hilmar, are you there? Hilmar? Hmm. Okay. Romeo? Are you there? Sí, acá estoy. Ah, okay. Uh, no solo... no, okay. Okay, okay, perfect. What are we gonna do with this? Listen up. Vamos a comenzar una pequeña práctica. ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? Listen, algunos grupos van a quedar de tres. Ah, uh, in this case, porque Chilmar no me contesta, no sé, no sé si está realmente ahí o, or, or what. Um, in this case, I'm gonna join uh, two groups of three people. Voy a hacer dos grupos de tres personas. Pero ¿cuál es la idea? Listen up. La idea es que me escriban cinco oraciones de actividades que ustedes no hacen. ¿Ok? Activities that you do not develop in your workplace, in your house, or with your family, ¿ok? Puede ser sobre actividades que ustedes no están acostumbrados a hacer, ¿ok? O actividades que no hacen los fines de semana, o actividades que no hacen en las mañanas, o even activities that you do not do at night, ¿ok? An example, ¿ok? As example, uh, let's see. I don't, listen up, I don't watch TV in the morning, okay? Yo no veo televisión en las mañanas. I don't watch TV in the morning. That's one activity I don't do. Entonces, esa es una actividad que yo no hago por las mañanas. Probablemente 
eh, en, otro, en otra parte del día lo puedo hacer, pero no en las mañanas. Entonces, ahí yo ya tengo una actividad, ¿ok? Esas son las, eh, esas son las, uh, uh, I mean, the activities that we're going to be doing. Quiero cinco oraciones. De esas cinco oraciones, quiero que las intercambie. En este caso, si Carlos trabaja con Fátima, por así decirlo, Fátima le va a leer las oraciones que ella, dice una, que ella en este caso no hace y Carlos va a leerle a Fátima las oraciones que él no hace, ¿ok? Las actividades que él no hace. En este caso a Carlos le puedo preguntar sobre las actividades de Fátima y Carlos me va a responder sobre las actividades de Fátima usando tercera persona. O sea que en la práctica suya van a ser sobre primera y segunda persona, ¿ok? En este caso, más que todo, primera persona, ¿ok? En pareja. Pero cuando ya estén conmigo, lo van a hacer en tercera persona, ¿ok? So, en este caso, Carlos me hablaría sobre las actividades de Fátima y Fátima me hablaría sobre las actividades de Carlos, ¿ok? In third person. Recordemos, todas las actividades tienen que estar en negativo, ¿ok? Negatives. Any question? ¿Alguna pregunta? Any question so far? Okay, nice. No questions? Let's start. Give me a second. I'm going, I'm going to create the, 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 the groups. Okay, let me see. Grupos. Uh, we are 16. Okay, let's put it in here. Asignar manualmente. Okay, in sala 1 it's going to be Anna and Rosa. In here it's going to be Eric. All right, and William. And number three, it's going to be. Okay, let's see. In four, it's going to be Natalie. Okay, let's see. Okay, perfect. Let's get let's accept it, please. Okay, and let's go to work. Let's remember we need to practice those those activities, okay? Let's join them. Ah, hello everybody. Hello teacher. Just just like just look at that emotional stay that Rosa del Carmen expresses. <laughs> Why do you look so sad, Rosa? Porque la veo toda triste. Ah, porque ya tengo sueño. <laughs> You're Yo sleeping. Ah, no problem. Ten, I mean, 30 more minutes and we finish the class, okay? Okay, like right now, let's talk about the activities that you do not do, okay? You too, Ana, Ana Garcia. Let's talk about the activities that you do not do, okay? You too, Ana, Ana Garcia. In this case, let's talk about the activities that you do not do. Vamos a hablar sobre las actividades que nosotros no hacemos. En este caso, Rosa va a hablar sobre sus cinco actividades que ella no hace. And say to you, 
And probably, cuando ya volvamos a la sala principal, yo le voy a preguntar a usted, Ana, sobre las actividades de Rosa. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. Y a Rosa sobre sus actividades. That's why it's really important for you to interact. ¿Ok? okay. Por eso es importante que puedan interactuar sobre sus actividades. ¿Ok? okay. Las que no hacen. Ok, let's put it into context. Uh, vuelvo pronto. I'm going to check another group. Ok. Serían tres, serían tres más. Sí, cabal, este, pero es que son cinco, cinco oraciones que tenemos que hacer cada quien de las, de las cosas. Luego, uh -huh. este, es, lo vamos a ver en, en, en tercera persona. En, en este caso que solo uh -huh. somos dos, este, solo lo vamos a hacer entre nosotros dos, ¿verdad? Y luego las... Eh, Vamos a decir las actividades que el otro realiza. Ok. Ok, that will be to me. Ok, like right now, uh, Eric, you, you, you only mention the activities that you do not do. Same to you, William. Mention five activities you don't do. Ok, in first okay. person. Ok, example. Uh, I don't play soccer every day. Uh, I don't go to church on Sundays. You see? Those are activities that I don't do. Pero ya en la sala principal, probablemente le pregunté a Eric sobre sus actividades, William. Entonces, Eric, ahí me va a decir las actividades suyas en tercera persona. En negativo. Ah, ok. En negativo. Okay. Yes. Ok, very ah. good. Entonces, en, ese, en ese caso, teacher, este, bueno, por ejemplo, si yo, William me dijo que él no uh, don't play soccer on Sunday. Ok, supongamos. Este, ajá. Si este, William... Este, Mm -hmm. Ok, si William le dice, I don't play soccer on Sunday, no juego fútbol, ok, uh, los, en los, do, los domingos. Ah, entonces mm -hmm. usted me va a decir, he doesn't he play doesn't. soccer on Sundays. ¿Sí? Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Ok, tenía duda ahí. Gracias. Ok, entonces así sería la manera. Entonces ahorita lo que quiero es que interactúen esas actividades, ok. Que se las pueda mencionar el uno al otro en Get Along With That. And then let's go to the main page. Y luego vamos a ir a la, a la, a la sala principal y las vamos a mencionar. All right? Is, right. Is, is there repair? Reparar? Repair? Is verb. Repair. Oh. Sí. Uh -huh. Repair es un verbo. Uh, okay. I mean, sí, la es, así es en tercera persona. Repair. La idea es reparar. Oh, reparar. Okay. Y si no, puede, si no queremos usar el verbo repair, tenemos el verbo fix. Que oh, okay. que reparar. De, de hecho, es una de las frases que yo he ocupado. I don't repair computer on Sunday. Ah, ok. Very good. Mm -hmm. That's great. Ok, let's share those, those activities uh, and I'm going to check another group, ok? Ok. okay. Nice. Uy, ahí viene. Uy, ahí viene. La otra sería I don't I don't wash como my car. Washer. Eso está muy malo. Wash. Eso está muy malo. I don't porque, ah, pues corrígeme. Porque está mal ¿Cómo? no lavar el carro. ¡Ay! <risa> Me asustó. Why you got to aplicar el uso. ¿Yo por qué? ¿Yo por qué? Bien, bien aplicadas. <risa> es que ¿Yo así, por qué? Así. Así poquito a poco me las va a ir pagando el bullying que me ha hecho. No, teacher. But it's a, the, I don't watch car in, in the morning. Ajá. Bueno, podemos hacer. Ajá. Ajá. E, inclusive él puede poner my car. My, my car. car. Ah, ok. Yeah, my car. Yeah, bueno, entonces, y la otra es. 
Ajá. La otra es I don't eat pizza in the night. No in the night. Acuérdese que ahí no se puede. Sería uh -huh. at, at night. At night. Yes. Esa es la forma correcta. At uh -huh. night. At Night, yeah. night. Very good. Solo cuatro he hecho, muchas, porque cinco. To practice, to, to interact. We need to practice. Vaya, Salvador, hágalo usted. Yo le voy a preguntar cinco actividades sobre Salvador. A sí, espéreme, ya la voy a hacer la otra. Ah, ajá, ajá, ajá. Ok. I don't, I don't like driving on Sunday. Ah, ok, very good. Bueno, ¿todo Ana María? Eh, espérame. <risa> ¿Cómo fue que dijo? I don't like. Drive. Like. Ah, like. I don't like. Drive, driving. 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 Yes. Uh -huh. Drive. Driving. On Sunday. I don't like driving on Sunday. Very good. Mucho, mucho trabajo, mucho tráfico. ¿Really? Acá es diferente. Acá es los sábados. Hace un tráfico horrible. Y los domingos ya es más calmado. She doesn't. Lo que pasa es que también llamo. Yo vivo aquí por Metro Centro. Ah, ya. Yeah. Me, me toca trabajar hasta allá por, por redondear la integración. Uh, eso sí, es horrible ese tráfico. Entonces... Super horrible. Yeah, I mean, that, 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 uh -huh, that trip <laughs> takes a lot of time. Y porque estoy en, en la fratería Lemos, entonces, y porque a nivel nacional, a veces me toca ir a visitar tiendas y no quiero ir a San Miguel. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I will be like too far for you, man. Too far. Demasiado lejos. Siempre, siempre, siempre me apoyo con fotos o algo, pero no quiero ir. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's, it's better. It's better. <laughs> yes. And, yeah, I don't work on Sunday. Okay. Let's do it. I don't work. Ah. Pay attention, Ana María. Hmm. <laughs> sí, más rapidito. Entonces, uh, I don't tour. The computer of uh, I don't tour on the computer on day off. Okay. In ese caso okay. sería turn on the computer. Turn on. Turn on is like encender la computadora. On or non? Okay. Uh, like this. Turn. Permítame. Turn on. Ese es encender. Ahí lo acabo de yeah. mandar al chat. Turn on. Yeah. Okay. Turn on. Very good. Muy bien. Entonces voy a revisar otros grupos. Uh, I think we're okay with this. Okay, nice. Le voy a decir que, que diga la otra. <laughs> ah. Es que si no, no. dice, por cada, por cada oración mala, un punto menos. ¿Ve? No. <laughs> okay. No. Okay, let's continue practicing, okay? All right. Le boxeo. Box. Okay. Uh -huh. Y Nat Natalie Natalie doesn't drink Coca-Cola. Uh -huh. yeah. Natalie doesn't drink Coca-Cola. Oh my no. god. No. Mm -mm. Ese es no. pecado. Only Pepsi. <ríe> ninguna, ninguna bebida. <ríe> o sea, sí las tomo, pero allá al tiempo. Pecado. Es que, teacher, es que, teacher, yo también me puse en dieta allá en pandemia. Allá ah. como por, como por, quiero ver. Ah, bueno, quizás como en agosto fue el año ah, pasado. ¿Vale? Ajá, right. entonces tenía 37 libras de más. ¿Vale? Sí, es que teacher me tomaba hasta tres Coca-Colas en el día, todos los días. Uf. Tres Coca, yo no, es que no sé a saber cómo, o sea, porque yo sí tomaba, pues, o sea, no me medía para comer, pues, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. 
-huh. Pero lo más que me tomaba era una y no sé, quizás fue en tiempo de pandemia que a mí, no sé, digo yo que quizás tal vez la, la misma cosa de que uno andaba con eso, ¿verdad? Entonces, ah. agarré, ajá, agarré de comer, comer y comer. Entonces, bueno, un ratito, en un tiempito fue que una narro paciente, ¿verdad? Cuando ya, yeah. ya no. That's y true. yo dije, yo dije, quizás he de tener unas mis 10 libritas de más, ¿verdad? Pero cuando fui donde el nutricionista me sale con 37 libras de más. Uh, 37. <ríe> Ni yo me lo creía varias libritas. Sí, bastante. Yeah. Pero es un hábito, la verdad es un hábito. Uh -huh. es un lo, hábito que, porque... lo que se requiere es un poco de voluntad. That's, that's sí, it. la verdad es que sí, porque en tres meses bajé. bajé ah, peso. That's great. That's great. Sí, en tres meses tenía que bajar a 120 libras. ¿Really? 120, sí, 120 libras. Uh. Sí. Y ahora ni me creen, ni me creen que, que sea yo. Yes. Ah, no, pero that's, that's good. Eso es bueno. Y lo, lo mejor También de todo es Hasta yo me bien. veo rara, delgada, fíjese. Porque yeah. ahora veo la foto cuando estaba gordita y digo yo, ay, no, quisiera estar gordita. Ah, yo, yo, yo era lo opuesto cuando estaba flaco, cuando había rebajado sí. y veía las fotos de cuando estaba gordito. Yo, me, yo decía... Sí, yo me veía, me veía inflamado, ¿qué tenía? Es cierto, sí, es, ay, no hubiera, y un montón de ropa que dejé también, un montón de ropa. Ajá, sí. that's true, por eso quiero hacer dieta otra vez, I, I, I want to be thin again. No, pero este, fíjese, teacher, de que con solo dejar esas cosas así, digamos, como la soda, mucha comida así procesada, eso uh -huh. es una gran ayuda. Yes, sin necesidad a veces de ponerse en dieta ya, a mí es cierto pero es, es que cierto. uno nunca está bien porque yo ahora estoy delgada y quisiera estar un poquito gordita pero un poquito <risa> porque la ropa siento que no como que no me talla bien toda la ropa <risa> uh, auméntale sí. un poquito el consumo de comida a mí, un poquito sí, ahora como cómo, cómo prefiero comer en la casa o, o sea, como le dije o sea, ya no tomo soda, ¿verdad? Y al tiempo sí, pues, pero ah, prácticamente mi, mi, mi café sin azúcar igual, mi, mi vaso de agua. Ah, that's great. Sí. Eso está sí. bien, entonces. Uh -huh. Sí, es mejor. Son hábitos que se crean. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, sí. that's good. Así Muy que bien. por eso, así es como yo dejé la coca. Ah, ok, ahora es que sí. Yo no sé, yo no sé cómo es que metía pan dulce y Coca-Cola. Ahora lo veo y digo yo, no sé cómo es que hacía eso. <risa> no sé. <risa> Ay, no, eso era terrible. Mucho pasa? azúcar, mucho azúcar. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Sí. Se le pasar. Sí. Las, las famosas hojitas. <risa> uh, sí. <risa> Ricas con café. Ay, sí. <risa> Ya me dio hambre. <risa> ok. Muy bien, entonces, un, un par de minutos más y vamos a volver a la sala principal, ¿ok? Ok, ok. Ok, nice. I'm going to check, check another group. Muy repetido. No, y te vas todo plagueado. Ok. Ah, déjame la espalda. <laughs> ah, volvió Gilmar. Hey, Gilmar. I thought you were. <laughs> y yo pensando, ah, no, se le fue el internet, dije. No, lo que sucede es que como en las clases las recibo en el, en el trabajo y a veces hay algún inconveniente, tengo que salir corriendo. Ah, ah, that's why. Ah, con razón. Ah, ok. Y voy más que todo con la lluvia, cada rato suceden bajones de voltaje. Yeah. Soy encargado de informática. Mm, ah, pues sí, yeah. tiene que andar. Sí, sí, a veces hay que... Suceden cosas. Ajá, ajá. Ok, that's, that's good, that's good. Bien, ¿todo bien acá entonces? ¿Everything fine? Yes. Ok, perfect. Sure. Ok, good. Bien, voy a revisar otros pequeños grupos más. Entonces, unos dos minutos más eh, and we go back, ok? Ok. Ok. Vamos. 
Ah, ya la regamos. <risa> ah, <risa> ajá. Ya la vuelvo. I listen to you. Ya lo escuché. I did, I did listen to you, Romero. No, yo pensé que era. Yo solo me iba a mandar a la principal. Ya le pegamos. Teacher, teacher, pero una pregunta. Cuando uno se clases o está así en eh, eh, el tiempo de, de ejercicio, ¿hay alguien monitoreando de ir de la, de la academia y lo está escuchando a uno o no? No, only me. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ellos la pueden wow. ver ahí nada más en el, en el, en la, ya en el video en YouTube. Ah, ok. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Te van a ver aquí bien, bien acostador. <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay, how, how do you go there? I mean, do you finish everything? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, I think I think because of the time, let's go back to the main room. Okay, a la, vámonos a la sala principal y pues ya vamos a comenzar la práctica, okay? Uh, una consulta, Ducha. Yeah, tell me. Eh, vaya, solo con para pasar la, a la tercera persona sería de I don't eh, refiriéndome a mí, ¿verdad? Ajá. Eh, en el otro caso sería she does. She doesn't. Ah, doesn't, doesn't, siempre sí. Ya. Yeah. En este caso, sí. si va a hablar sobre las actividades de Fátima, va a decir Fátima doesn't take a shower. Ah, ok. Right, Fátima? Okay, sí. Ah, yo sí, yeah. ella, ella está de acuerdo. <laughs> okay, perfect. Let's go back to the main room. Okay. See you there. Ok, ya yes. no, está... está bien. Salvador me estaba confesando algo y usted se fue. Usted nos dejó ahí. Uh, I'm sorry. Confession time. Confession. Uy, ¿qué clase de confesiones habrán sido? Conociendo a Salvador. Y Ana María, sí, no, necesito más tiempo. Ok. No, tranquila, Ana María. <laughs> okay, let's start. Uh, let's see, in this case, I'm going to start with uh, William. Who were you practicing with? Eric. With Eric. Ah, all right, with Mr. Eric. Okay, William, mention three activities, only three activities that Eric doesn't do. Okay, um, he doesn't wake up early on Sunday. Okay. Uh, second, uh, he doesn't use computer on Sunday. Okay. And three, he doesn't exercise on Sunday. Okay, he doesn't do exercise on Sunday. Good. Now, Eric, mention two activities that William doesn't do. He doesn't fix TV in your house. In, uh, in his house. Okay. Correct. He doesn't fix TV in his, his house. Excellent. Okay. Um, he doesn't eat seafood anytime. Okay, very good. One more. Uh, he doesn't play soccer on Wednesday. On Wednesday. Okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. So thank you, William, and thank you, Eric. Good. Uh, Carla. Carla, who are you going to talk about? Con Natalie, teacher. Okay, tell me the tell me three activities that Natalie done. I mean, doesn't do. Okay, uh, she doesn't exercise on Sundays. 
Uh -huh. um, Natalie does not drink Coca-Cola. Pecados. Pecados, sí. <ríe> y she doesn't work on the night. At night, at night, Carla. At night. Yes. Ah, Exacto. Okay. Eh, eh, siguieron el modelo de, de Cristiano Ronaldo. Dices, ah, botar, <risa> así, la, poner al lado la coca. It's like, like drink more water. Y agarre el agua. <risa> <risa> Ay, no, no, no. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that's healthier. Ok, now, Natalie. Give me three activities that Carla doesn't do. Okay. She does not drink tequila. Mm, okay. Carla does not practice swimming. Okay. Um, she does not work on Saturday. Ah, great. That's good. All right. Thank you, Natalie, and thank you, Carla. You did it excellent. Okay. Hilmer. I think you were practicing with Mrs. Janet and um, who was the other one? I think Carlos. 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 Okay, good. Carlos, tell me what activities Stephanie doesn't do. Mention three. Okay, teacher. <laughs> Stephanie doesn't work Sunday. On Sunday, okay. Uh, She doesn't don't have English class on weekends. All right. She doesn't have English class on weekends. Yes. And Stephanie <laughs> doesn't watch TV at night. Ah, okay. Doesn't watch TV at night. Okay. Thank you, Carlos. Now, Stephanie, tell me two activities that Hilmar doesn't do. Hilmar. Yes. <laughs> uh, he does not work on Sunday. Um, he does not play the guitar. Doesn't, he doesn't cook. Or does not. Remember, doesn't or does not. Does not. Mm. Uh, he doesn't cook in the morning. Okay, he doesn't cook in the morning. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Stephanie. Now, Hilmer. Give me two activities that Carlos doesn't do. Okay. He doesn't know good in the morning. He doesn't, doesn't watch TV at night. He doesn't sleep early Saturday. Ah, on Saturdays. Okay, very good. So thank you, Carlos. Thank you, Hilmar. And thank you, Stephanie. You All did right. it excellent. Nice. Now, uh, Rosa del Carmen. Are you there? Rosa. Rosa. Hi, Rosa. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're, you were practicing with Anna, right? But I don't see Anna. Oh, yeah, that's true. What is Anna? Okay. Uh, yeah. Don't worry about it. I, yeah. I think Anna got problems with the internet. Ah, she's coming. Okay, mention the activity that Anna doesn't do. Three, three activities. Rosa. She does soccer. She doesn't watch TV in the morning. She doesn't watch. She doesn't, Hola? She doesn't watch. She doesn't watch TV in the morning. She doesn't exercise on Sunday. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Good. Anna, give me three activities that Rosa del Carmen doesn't do. Uh, she does plays with my new house. Sobrinos, no sé cómo es. Sobrinos. All right. In that case, that's siblings. Siblings. All right. Um, yeah, or nephew. Yeah, but nephew is sobrino. 
uh, niece. Sobrina. All right. But in that case, um, that's a plural, right? Okay. Um, another one, Anna. Uh, she don't watch TV in the morning. She don't. She. She doesn't. She doesn't. Goes in the park in the week. Okay. She doesn't go to the park during the week. Repeat. She does go in the park in the week. Okay, like this. Look. She doesn't go to the park. During the week, it would be like this, Ana. She okay. doesn't go to the park during the week. Recordemos que el verbo solo se modifica, el verbo principal solo se modifica cuando estamos en oraciones afirmativas, ¿ok? Eh, okay. En este caso, solo en afirmativas. Ok. Very good. Ok, uh, Ana, thank you. And uh, a Rosa del Carmen, you too. Ah, let's see who's missing. Vamos a ver qué oscuros secretos esconde Salvador con Ana María. Hey, where is Salvador? <laughs> I am in Salvador. Is there. All right. Who starts? Ana María, tell me three things Salvador doesn't do. Mm. Okay. Salvador doesn't drive the on Sunday. No, okay. Uh, Salvador doesn't uh, doesn't take break on Sunday. Uh -huh. Breakfast. Breakfast. Uh -huh. And Salvador doesn't do, turn on the computer. No, nah, okay. Nice. Salvador, what No hace you? nada. No hace nada. Hey Salvador, ¿qué le quiso decir? Se me, de decirle, se me olvidó decirle a la oración de que yo no como sal, te puse con salsa negra. Le voy a bajar un punto por eso. Hey, no sean malos. Ana María, a question. Eh, Especifique si la, las... ¿Eran de toda la semana o solo el domingo? Ah, Me parece que es toda la semana. Bueno, allí, ahí solo eh, en, la, eh, en la conversación solo dijo domingo. Ah. Eric, ¿Qué será la confesión que le estaba haciendo cuando el teacher se retiró? Ah, that's true, that's true. Hmm. Ok. Ok, Salvador, tell me three things Ana María doesn't do. Okay, Ana Maria not play soccer on weekends. Doesn't play soccer on weekends. Uh, on the song. Okay, she, do, she doesn't go to a short week. Okay, she doesn't go to church during the week. She doesn't eat pizza at night. Ah, okay. She doesn't eat pizza at night. Okay, nice. Something basic, it says. Ya va a salir con un pedazo de pizza. No, yo no como en las noches. No, no puedo. Me, me molesta. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Sí, ya ya dije que... No les engaño. <laughs> No voy, a, no voy a comer pan francés porque ya subí un par de libras y ya no quiero. Ay, por favor. ¿Real? ¿Cuánto es su peso? ¿120? Eh, no, ahorita 135. Ah, no. Yo mido unos 69. Okay. <laughs> no, no. Ah, that's good. I mean, uh, you're not that short. Okay, that's great. Nah, pues no. Todavía es pequeñita. Uno setenta todavía y esta estatura. Ah. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you, Salvador. And thank you, Ana Maria. All right, now, Nubia. 
I, I think you were working with uh, Romeo. Si no me quería en la sala, por cierto. And uh, who was? Fatima, right? No, Fatima. Sí. Yes. Okay, good. Romeo, tell okay. me. Tell me three things uh, Fatima doesn't do. Estaba... Yo hice lo de novia. Ah, ok. Tell me. Tell wow, me novia. Okay. Tell me novia. Okay. 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 Oh. Uh, she does practices eso es un weekend. Eh, Does practice exercise on weekend. On weekend, sí. Ok. She doesn't. No, she does. Sí, she doesn't she visit does. the church on Sunday. Ah, ok. Pecado. Eh, no, she doesn't visit the church on Sunday. I go to cinema on Wednesday. She doesn't, uh -huh. okay, she doesn't go, repeat. She doesn't go. To the cinema. To the cinema. On Wednesday, you said, right? Sí, on Wednesday. Okay, very good. Thank you, Romeo. Novia? Los miércoles hay precio especial. Pero no voy. No la dejan ir. <laughs> okay. No, no, right. por el tiempo. Okay. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, tell me three things Fatima doesn't do. Fatima. Fatima. Eh, she eh, and her family mm -hmm. eh, don't go to the mountain. Okay, very good. Um, uh, I don't know what Oh my god, are you serious? Ah, <laughs> uh, uh -huh. what else? I uh, Make them up. Invent the last. I, I don't remember. All right, make them up. Ventilate. She doesn't cook on the weekend. Uh -huh, okay, all right. One more. Y Fatima de, diciendo, oh my God. Los domingos yo hago pizza. O hago este, una lasaña. Alucin alucinando con la cocina. Pasta de arroz. Dice. Eh. Fatima doesn't, eh, she doesn't go to the supermarket. Okay, she doesn't go to the supermarket. Thank you, Nubia. Now, Fatima, tell me the activities that Romeo doesn't do. Okay. Eh, he, Romeo doesn't watch TV at night. Ah, okay. And he doesn't go to the supermarket in the morning y la última es he doesn't attend class in the work ah, okay very good he doesn't attend class in the work very good okay así como que como que Fátima les hizo así a los dos yo sí me acuerdo de las actividades <laughs> <laughs> All right, good so no, yo sí anoté, teacher. Ah, okay. That's the power of writing sí. down, okay? <laughs> okay, sí. so thank you, Fatima. Thank you, Nubian. Thank you, Romeo. Okay, you did it excellent. Uh, Joanny, your turn, Joanny. Uh, with Stephanie Urrutia. Ah, yes. Dormida estaba, miren las ojeras que tiene. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Por eso tenía la cámara apagada. Ok, Johnny, tell me three activities. No. Three activities. Uh, that the girl doesn't do. No sabía que de mí estaba hablando. Sí, sí. Ajá. A ver, um, a ver mi estaba. Ok, do it. 
um, she doesn't have day off on Saturday. Doesn't have, remember, have. Uh, um, sí, pero cuando se habla de ella siempre es have. Sí, porque no. acuérdese que eh, el mm -hmm. doesn't ya ahí modifica la tercera persona. Ya el verbo va en modo, modo base. Ok. Ah, ok. Ya no va modificado. Ok, entonces sería she has the, she has the, she, uh, she doesn't she, have day off on Saturday. Yes. And yeah. she doesn't cook dinner on Monday. Ok. And she doesn't watch TV on weekend. Ok, excellent. Thank you, Joanny. Uh, Mrs. Urrutia, tell me three activities Joanny doesn't do. Okay, uh, she doesn't play soccer with her brother on Monday. Mm -hmm. uh, she doesn't sleep on Saturday in evening. Okay. No, on evening or in. In the evening? Mm -hmm. Okay. And she doesn't practice swimming on Thursday. Now, ah, okay, very great. So, thank you, Mrs. Rutia. Don't get asleep, please. We're about to finish the class. Okay, and Joanny, thank you. You too. Uh, I think I think everybody has already participated, right? So, everybody will participate in. So, let's keep up. Remember, recordemos, generalmente cuando hablamos de oraciones negativas o formulamos oraciones negativas utilizando el presente simple, don't forget, con los pronombres I, you, we, they en plural nouns. Cuando me refiero a plural nouns es cuando mencionamos dos nombres de personas. Por ejemplo, Gilmore and Carlos. Ok, that's plural. There are two people. Entonces, para formar oraciones negativas con ello, utilizamos do plus not. Do not. Entonces, contractado es don't. Ok, entonces yo puedo decir... Hilmar and Carlos don't mm, let's see don't eat out okay, no comen uh, afuera de la casa okay Hilmar and Carlos don't eat out that's an activity that is in negative okay y uso don't recordemos porque estamos usando plural okay? Okay. dos personas exactly that's that's right in third person en tercera persona recordemos el verbo principal no se modifica, ¿ok? Why? Porque ya tenemos el auxiliar que es el que va modificado. Recordemos que do es en forma base. Das ya es el verbo modificado agregado con es, ¿ok? Das. Entonces el verbo principal ya no cambia. Entonces yo puedo decir Ana María doesn't listen up. Ana María doesn't take a shower, right? So, take, ya el verbo va no, no sin S, ok, sin mm -hmm. S. Doesn't take a shower. True story, man, true story. Right, Ana María? Yes, <laughs> I know you want to say yes. <laughs> ok, good. I think. <laughs> I think. <laughs> ok. So remember that, ok? Um, uh, one another thing, antes de que nos vayamos, voy a pasar asistencia, remember? Y antes de irnos, recordemos, tenemos la parte de discussion thing. Ahora voy a subir la parte de uh, este día, ok? Voy a pedir ahí nada más que me escriban un par de oraciones en negativo en la parte de discusión. Please, mm -hmm. para mañana, listen up, para mañana quiero las cinco tareas de la plataforma, porque mañana en la noche, Ok, después de clase, yo voy a subir sus notas ya de la primera semana y esas notas van a ser enviadas a, al Insaform, ok. Entonces, para no estarlos presionando, mire, haga la tarea o mire, a, a, a estarles llamando, ok. Entonces, y para que no se sientan tan, tan acongojados, por así decirlo. Entonces, Mucho pushing. Exactly, right. Entonces, eh, digamos, tratemos de hacerlo... Mm, si no la hemos terminado, tratarlas de hacer ahora, entre ahora y mañana, ¿ok? Para que así, digamos, ya mañana por la tarde eh, no me tengan ahí, así como en la neck. Mire, haga la tarea, por favor, haga la tarea, ¿ok? 
porque sí, esas notas las, las tenemos que enviar eh, al Instafor como parte del proceso de evaluación, remember, ¿ok? Eh, y pues ahí también va a estar la, la parte de discussion, ¿ok? Good. Uh, just give me a second. I'm going to pass the attendance list and finish up the class. A Milker Gustavo didn't okay. show up. Ana Claribel. Present. Okay. Ana María. Present. Okay, very good. Carlos Eduardo. Present. Perfect. Eric Guillermo. Present, teacher. Nice. Mm -hmm. Stephanie Janet. Present. Very nice. Uh, Fatima Alejandra. Present. Great. Jill Mark Luz. Present. Okay, Jonathan Alexander. I think he got problems with the internet. Carla Benazir. Present. Okay, Natalie Vanessa. Present. All right, Nubia Zulema. Present, teacher. Okay, Romeo Alexis. Present. No vamos a ver la escuela. Rosa del Carmen. Pero aquí la mandó Present. el otro ella, eh. Van a ver a Cruella. Ah, ahora entendemos por qué. Ok, let's continue. Uh, Roxana y Esenia. Ok, no aquí. Uh, Salvador Alfonso. Ok, thank you. Stephanie Adeline. No aquí. Stephanie Lisette. Stephanie Lisette. Present, no me agarraba el mute. Uh -huh. Pero no estaba durmiendo. No. Okay. William Alberto. Presente. Ah, ok. Uh, Joanny Noemi. Present. Ok, very good. Ok, uh, listen up. I want, I do really want. Uh, let me see. I'm going to check the one that is going to stay with me tonight. Okay. For the 10 minutes feedback that we're going to have. Last time it was um, a meal car. Okay. Like in this case, Joanny. Let me see. On, uh, yeah, because Ana Maria is already done. Joanny, you're going to stay. Okay. In the 10 minutes feedback for, for tonight. Okay, se me queda entonces después de clase. Eh, ¿Alguna pregunta antes de irnos para los demás? No, Emi. Ok, very good. Teacher, yo no me pregunta. El viernes no me vaya a dejar mis 10 minutos. Ajá, sí, 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 claro. Teacher. Ajá, tell me. Muy bien. Eh, eh, ahorita se puede hacer lo que es lo de la plataforma, las actividades, y hasta ahí las actividades para trabajarlas de una sola vez. Ah, uh, yes, las de, todavía las, no. las de discusión, eh, después de después de esta clase voy a subir el tema de discusión, ¿ok? De este día. O sea que todavía no, no van a estar. Espero un rato para que la suba. Eh, espero unos 15 minutos, ¿ok? Por los 10 minutos que voy a estar darme a, a like, 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 right after here, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. Nice. Ok, so, entonces, you. si no, ok, you're welcome. Si no hay ninguna otra, entonces, pregunta, nos vemos mañana, ok, to finish the week. Hagan la tarea y pórtense bien, ok. Bye, bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Good, night. Good, night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, bye. Bye, bye Stephanie. No se duerme en clase. <laughs> bye, bye. All right, we're going to start up, Joanny. Uh, son las 10 con 15. Vamos a tener 10 minutos, Joanny, para aclarar cualquier duda que podamos tener con relación a las clases que hemos tenido. I don't know if you have any questions related to those classes. Um, mm. With the topic, I don't know, a vocabulary. Mm. I don't, how much? With how much? Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. Más que todo, eh, ¿cómo responder, digamos, o cómo hacer una pregunta? Mm, ok, ok. 
Ok, generally, when we talk about how much, cuando hablamos de how much, hablamos de cosas que no podemos contar. Generalmente lo hacemos con palabras que son incontables. Por ejemplo, water, oil, sugar, money. Ok, um, let's see what else. The sand. Ok, son palabras que no podemos contar. Ok. Por ejemplo, si decimos, how much water do you drink? ¿Cuánta agua toma? ¿O cuánta agua uh, consume? Sí, en este caso es algo que no podemos contar. Tenemos varias formas de poder contestar a ello. Give me a second. Right. Me voy a meter ahí, para, eh, pero se va a ver como que si me he desconectado. ¿A, ¿A dónde? Pero lo voy a estar viendo. A, a, a lo que me está mandando ahorita. Ah, en el chat. Ok, ok. Ajá, para poderlo chat. leer. Ok, perfecto. Uh -huh. Sí, básicamente eso es ahí. If you take a look. Ahí básicamente uh -huh. esas son las formas en las que podemos contestar a esa pregunta. How much water do you drink? ¿Ok? ¿Cuánta agua toma? ¿O cuánta agua consume? Ah, entonces puede decir usted I drink a lot of water. Tomo mucha agua. ¿Ok? I drink a lot of water. Ah, también puede decir I drink some water. ¿Ok? Tomo algo de agua. Entonces, poca agua, por así decirlo. Ok, so, en este caso, con ese tipo de, 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 de cantidades, podemos hablar sobre algo que podamos consumir. Uh, no solo de agua, por ejemplo, How much milk do you drink in the morning? Ok, ¿cuánta leche toma en la mañana? Ok. Give me that answer, Joanny. Um, la respuesta? Yeah. I drink milk. I drink, mm. I drink, y luego la cantidad. Milk? No, ah, I, drink, I, no la cantidad. I drink, no mucho, I, I lot, no. Ok, no mucha, not much. Uh -huh. I drink, I drink. A lot. Ah, I drink not much milk. Milk. Very good. No tomo mucha leche. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. Entonces, ahí sí. está diciendo que toma poca leche, básicamente. ¿Ok? Entonces, uh -huh. esas son las maneras de poder contestar eh, sobre líquidos o cosas que no podemos contar. Ahora bien, when we talk about money, cuando hablamos sobre precios de artículos, por ejemplo, How much, okay, how much is that shirt? How much is that shirt? ¿Cuánto cuesta esa camisa? O la manera formal. How much does that shirt cost? Esta es la manera formal de esa pregunta. Ambas estructuras significan lo mismo. ¿Cuánto cuesta esa camisa? ¿Ok? Ok. ¿Verdad, teacher, de que usted dijo que cuando es una pregunta formal, siempre va a llevar el does? Exactamente. O do. Okay. O do, que en okay. este caso sería para uh, un plural. Ok. Ah, ok. Ok. En este caso, para la primera pregunta que dice, how much is that shirt? ¿Cuánto cuesta esa camisa? Con el verbo to be. Entonces vamos a responder, it is ten dollars. Uh -huh. okay. Esa sería la manera en cómo responder. Ahora bien, la pregunta dice, how much does that shirt cost? ¿Cuánto cuesta esa camisa? Ah, pero ahí usando el auxiliar does. Ah, entonces uh -huh. vamos a decir, it costs. Cute. 
ten dollars. Like this. Entonces sería de esa manera. Look, it costs ten dollars. Cuesta diez dólares. Ya, uh -huh. ya no iría el, el, el is. Ah. Sino no. que solo es de un solo. En este caso, en este caso no usamos church en la respuesta porque la palabra church es reemplazada con el it. Uh -huh. Ok. Por eso. All right. Por eso no colocamos eh, en este caso la palabra shirt. Porque ya básicamente es sustituido por el it. Okay. Okay. Si no lo tuviéramos sustituido, entonces dijera the shirt costs ten dollars. Y así. también se podría y también se podría de esa manera. Exactamente. Ambas maneras son correctas. Ok. Oh. Yeah, both ways are correct. Ok. okay. Entonces, ahí ya depende del tipo de producto o artículo que vayamos a mencionar. Así va a ser el tipo de respuesta. Ok. A modo de ejemplo. Deme un ejemplo utilizando los precios de algo. Give me, Perdón. Give es que la última casi no lo entendí. Ok, a modo de ejemplo, eh, eh, hágame una pregunta utilizando how much. How much. Yeah. Um, Preguntando sobre el precio de algo. How much. Um, day TV. How much? No. Okay. How much? How much? How much is What? that okay. TV? Okay. How much is that TV? Ah, muy bien. How much is that TV? ¿Cuánto cuesta esa televisión? Usando el verbo to be. Okay. Entonces la respuesta sería it is $600. It is $600. Ok. En ese caso ahí ya sería la respuesta. Ok. Esa sería. Cuesta $600. Ok. It is $600. Y, en la, y digamos que así como se me lo ha explicado también sería it costs um, Ok. ¿Cómo sería? $600. Ok. ¿Cómo sería? Ajá. Pero ¿cómo sería la pregunta? Entonces sería, eh, how much does that TV? ¿Y el verbo? Does. No. no. Cost. Ah. Cuando usamos el das, ya el verbo va al final y es cost, de costar. Ok. okay. How much does that TV cost? Ok. Entonces, de la respuesta, ¿cómo sería? It is. Ah, uh, no. Uh, it cost. Mm -hmm. It cost $600. Excellent. Entonces, ahí. Ya no sabíamos is, porque como en la pregunta ya no llevamos is, por eso ya no colocamos is. Tiene que ser el verbo después del it. Y acá, como ya no llevamos auxiliar en la respuesta, entonces el verbo, que en este caso es cost, lo ponemos con una s. Ok. okay. Por eso lo sí. ponemos con una s. It costs $600. Okay, I don't know if you have any, any, any other questions. No sé si vamos comprendiendo hasta acá o tenemos alguna sí, pregunta, teacher. Giovanni. No, teacher, hasta ahorita sí, eso más o menos, eso no, no lo había entendido muy bien. O sea, sí sabía de que, um, porque es que en una clase anterior, a, cuando estábamos en el básico uno, explicó las cosas contables y las no contables. O sea, sí sabía más o menos que eran, ajá, ajá. pero mmm, ya con la estructura del how much, si sí, no, no no sabía cómo sí, cómo, cómo la iba a utilizar ajá, y más que todo cómo responderla 
Ah, perfecto. Pues entonces, esas serían las maneras en cómo las vamos a responder, ¿ok? Ok. All right, Joanny. No sé si tiene alguna otra pregunta adicional de cualquier otro uh, tema. No, teacher. Ah, de okay. el tema. Uh -huh. Muy bien, perfecto. Entonces, eh, con las tareas, ¿cómo vamos? Um, ya hice la, la de este día. Solo me faltaría la de mañana. Ah, perfecto. Y, eh, y que mande este usted lo, lo de ahora, tema, porque el de ayer okay. sí no dejó, ¿verdad? Yes, no, 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 ahí tienen. Porque lo estuve revisando y no. Ah, perfecto, no entonces. Muy bien, entonces eh, ya nomás termine la, la, aquí la, la, la sesión, voy a subirlo, ¿ok? okay Muy ya bien, perfecto, entonces, eh, Joanny, nos vemos mañana entonces, ¿ok? Have a good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. bye.